I want to try transforms to a much more general concept um, called a template. You'll find templates in all sorts of programs, and templates do the same things that our transforms do, but that the idea of a template is much more general. So you have the idea, for example, of a template in manufacturing, like you see pictured in this topic. That's a template, and it's used to cut out shapes that are going to be the same each time. That's the concept of a template. You create the shape one time, it gives form over and over again to every instance that uses that template. So uh, another example of a template is a DOT file, a document template file in Microsoft Word. That document template file is the same idea. It's the structure of the file without any content in it. It's all the headings and all the formatting, and then the idea is later you'll put in all the specific content. So once again, it's a, it's a form into which you pour content. It's the design of a document in Word without the actual document in it, which is kind of a funny thing, but we do it all the time. Uh, if you've ever used a template in PowerPoint, you open up PowerPoint, you select the template, you have a completed presentation except for one thing, no content. Right? So in all cases, you have this idea that the template is a blank. The template is a, um, is a way of creating an output without actually having any content in there. Now, why do we use templates? Well, obviously, they standardize the design. Right? They give us the same design. If you use a PowerPoint template, all your slideshows will look exactly the same, except they'll all have different content. They standardize that design. They make that design reusable so that I can have the same design over and over again. If I'm using a web page template, which we will be using, um, I'll have the same look and feel of the template regardless of the content that's poured in. It's very, very leverageable. It means that you create the design once and you can apply that design many, many times. You can be sure that the design of similar items will be similar and you can also reuse the same design across different items. So I might have a design for layout that applies not only to movies but also to actors and also maybe to theater plays. And I can use that design over and over again. It's very leverageable. It's, it's very... Um, it's very useful to us to make sure that um, our design is created once and the design is separate from the content. So as I change content, I don't have to mess with the design. In old style websites, if you change the content, you've changed the design. If you change the design, you have to mess with the content. In the idea of templates, we separate the design and the content and they become two different things. Design over here, content over here, coming back together to create a page. Okay, so finally, what I want to say to you is that templates generally speaking, are programs. They're one form or another of computer program, which means that they're not that easy. They're not end user tools. They're not something that you would just pull out and use. Now, of course, you have interfaces, for example, around a PowerPoint template that hide the fact that it's a program, but unfortunately, our templates, transforms, aren't going to hide the complexity, and you'll have to really deal with the programming concepts in order to use our templates. So they're not for end users. They're relatively simple. You'll be able to do many, many things, and you'll be surprised how much work you get out of templates with just using a few simple commands. But as you get beyond those few simple commands, there's a whole world of other commands that you'll have to come to grips with if you want to really get good at transforms. And then finally, there's a point at which you have to transcend the transforms and use actual regular uh, run-of-the-mill standard kind of programming, C Sharp or VB or Java or something like that, to go beyond the capabilities of the transforms. Because the programming that the transforms use isn't very good programming, unfortunately.